Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. So today we have another Shop Talk video and today's topic is going to be shop minimum fees and we're going to get into this and I'm going to explain what they are uh, because no one likes their time wasted and I certainly don't so we're going to get into this. Now before we go ahead and begin, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, hit the subscribe button down below. Definitely smash the like button because it helps the channel out. With that said, let's go ahead and get started on today's video. So today's topic is going to be shop minimum fees and shop flat fees. And a lot of you may be wondering what is that, what are those? And to me in my shop, the way I do certain things is I don't want to go by the labor guide every single time if I know there's going to be a repair or something that I'm doing that is uh, you know, going to be generally pretty easy and take me less than X amount of time to do. Um, and since my time is valuable, I basically have certain flat fees for certain jobs. Now, the best example that I could uh, share uh, when it comes to this is, let's say a, uh, a brake light bulb. For most cars where it's a standard pull out two bolts from the trunk area or from the side and pull out uh, the headlamp or sorry tail light assembly and replace the bulb I have minimum flat fees for it and it's gonna include the bulb the labor and everything uh, let's just say hypothetically that fee is let's say 60 bucks now I'm not saying that's what I charge we're just using a round number um, that right there is basically gonna be a easier way for me to just be able to give people an answer on what something would cost because the way it works here at least in my shop is I get a lot of people and they want specific details. How much is this repair? How much is that repair? Whether it be on the phone or in person. And it's really hard to you know, give someone an estimate without looking at the vehicle. So what I tell people is that there's gonna be you know, flat fees for certain things or minimum fees. Now, certain light bulbs and things like that, I normally just have a flat fee like this is what it costs, let's do it. But a minimum fee is gonna work a little bit different. Now, my minimum fee will apply to things like inspections and things of that nature. So let's say you roll into my shop and you say, hey, my suspension is making noise. Um, I wanna get it looked at. I need a diagnosis for my suspension. Now depending on how you choose to do it and even me i'm a little bit uh, loose with this still depending on what i'm looking for and how much time it will take it'll either be a minimum fee or a flat fee now i've done things uh, like let's say you want to raise your car up and check your suspension normally i'll just charge like a flat fee let's call it uh 60 bucks for example um, and that'll compensate me for my time to take out and look at your car and lift it up and do all that. So that way I get compensated. Um, and then there's certain aspects where people want to have a, let's say 125 point multi-point inspection or something like that. Let's say they're buying a car and they want to get it lifted and want me to run down and look at everything. For that type of situation, I'll have something like a, a minimum fee where, hey, my minimum is going to be, let's say, $95, and it can only grow from there because I don't know exactly what I'm going to be looking at. Um, I can do a basic quick look and tell you what's wrong, or I can actually take my time. Now, what the minimum fee applies is that it's a minimum, let's say, $95 is the least amount you're going to be able to pay for that. Now, some shops will apply this to diagnostics as well, where they say the minimum diagnosis time is X amount, and we bill depending on how we see fit, whether it be every 15 minutes, every half hour, hour, however the case is. Um, and those are you know, the situations where you can do flat fees or minimum fees. Now, typically what a flat fee is going to be is just a certain price for a certain service or a certain thing to do on the car, and that'll help compensate the mechanic the shop, you know, and all time involved. And minimum fees are basically the least amount that it's gonna cost you to be able to do whatever it is that you're wanting to do to your vehicle. And that can grow from that point on, depending on how the shop chooses to raise it. Now, I'm not gonna get into how shops determine that, but in my shop, for example, um, I'm gonna use a minimum fee of a diagnostic, which is typically around 120 bucks. That is the minimum that I will diagnose a check engine light for and run through the whole diagnostic procedure. But sometimes uh, you don't get enough time. Let's say you're chasing down a really crazy uh, check engine light and it's gonna take you an hour or more. Now, a $120 minimum diagnostic fee for me is gonna cover an hour worth of labor, roughly. If I need more time, that's when I'll call the customer and be like, hey, I need another hour, and then we figure out the rate depending on what we have to do, and we go from there. Uh, because I don't necessarily just like charging everyone by the hour. If you're in here and uh, it's gonna take me an hour and a half to do a, let's say, diagnostic, 
Uh, it's 120 for the, let's say, first hour. And I don't want to sit there and just charge a full hour afterwards. So I'll determine if it's going to take me, let's say, an hour and a half, two hours, two and a half hours. And I'll try to, you know, cut the labor to accommodate for what I'm doing. I never just want to bill an hour and take two minutes to figure it out and charge the customer for an hour worth of work. Uh, but sometimes, you know, that does happen. I'm not going to lie. I've had diagnostics where I've had to charge the minimum simply because I'm hooking up my scanning equipment and I'm taking about 10, 15 minutes of my time to do a test on a sensor to verify if it's good or bad. And I'm also verifying, let's say, the wiring from that point on. And I'm using my scanner to check the systems. Now, the reason why I may charge $120 for a service like that is because I'm actually implementing a scan tool in the diagnostic procedure that you know has updates and I have to pay for yearly to get certain features and you know unfortunately if you're using a tool like that sometimes you do have to bill X amount per hour so depending on the circumstances it'll vary but that's how I kind of do things in the shop but this whole video was just to kind of explain what minimums versus flat fees are because I know the automotive industry now uh, most shops at least in my area they're starting to get into that where they just have flat fees for certain things because you know it makes no sense for me to look up a light bulb in the catalog every single time so i'd rather just have a set fee where i know how much my bulbs cost i know how long it's going to take me and i'm completely okay with it being a certain price uh versus the minimum fee where you know hey this is the minimum amount and it can only go up from there so hopefully uh this video helps you guys out on understanding the differences between the two uh, i feel like i made the point pretty clear but if not always comment below and i can clarify if there's something that i missed so with that said hopefully you guys enjoyed this video please comment like and subscribe because it definitely helps the channel grow hope you have a wonderful day and i'll catch you on the next video